She is being described as a hero, a warrior, and a star. Veteran city councillor and deputy mayor Pam McConnell has passed away today. The flag has been lowered in her honour outside here of City Hall. Inside, council was in session when the news broke, but quickly adjourned. So politics were put aside so councillors could deal with the death of a beloved colleague. A busy chamber suddenly went silent as word quietly spread that Deputy Mayor Pam McConnell had passed away. No one spoke, but their faces said it all. She's an example of public service in every respect. She's an example of commitment to the people who need uh, our help. McConnell was one of the city's longest serving councillors. She had been a councillor since 1994 and was a school trustee before that. In an often divided council, she was known for being able to bridge the gap between left and right. Pam was loved by all members of council. I call her council's grandmother. She worked with everybody. She was deeply loved by her community and deeply loved by her colleague councillors. I want us to peacefully resolve this. McConnell was a social justice advocate. She spearheaded the city's poverty reduction strategy. Pleasure to open the Regent Park Community Center, finally! And was a driving force behind rejuvenation of Regent Park, which was in her riding. This is the opening of our new Regent Park Community Center. It's a very exciting day for us. She did outstanding work uh, against racism, against misogyny, against bigotry of any kind. She was a star. When I talked to her uh, yesterday, she had a smile on her face the entire time. She said things like, uh, you take what, what you're given. Uh, it is what it is. The 71-year-old counselor had been ill for some time, dealing with an undetermined lung disease. I'd say she was... Uh, went about her business quietly and moved mountains uh, and was a leader in the city and across the country and even internationally in promoting women into political life and elected positions. And I don't think she got the recognition she deserves. Now the lights on Toronto's iconic sign will be dimmed in memory of Pam McConnell this evening. Now I have to say I interviewed her countless times over the years. She was always gracious and very passionate in her beliefs. She loved to talk about her grandchildren. Our condolences to her family. McConnell is the third councillor to die this term alone. First there was Rob Ford last year and then Ron Moser just in April.